let's keep going okay so what is linkedin someone may ask what is linkedin um i won't talk much about that we all know but we will look at some data here so introduction to linkedin so um uh, linkedin is the largest so as i'm talking now linkedin is the largest professional network on the internet so why are you saying that linkedin is the largest professional network on the internet okay so let's look at why so on linkedin you can find job or internship connects and strengthen professional relationship and learn skills you need to succeed in your career so um i quite remember i joined linkedin about two years ago and that app has really helped me a lot countlessly met a lot of people gotten a lot of opportunity that um i couldn't have imagined without this app so um it always bores me when i see a lot of students when you told them um or even graduates when you told them linkedin and it's like they are they don't know what the thing is about or maybe they heard it someone was talk, uh, saying it and they just downloaded it they didn't do any research to find out why are these people talking about linkedin okay so for linkedin you can access it through your desktop uh, mobile phone or the web version of it okay so I don't know why I wanted to share the slide but I don't know when, when I go to the the slide mode okay now it's working okay so as I said so LinkedIn has I think this idea um, this presentation was um, um, prepared by Didicap executive so um, I'm part of the executive uh, I'm part of the team the decap team so um, uh, I'm using their slide to also um, broadcast what they do so maybe after that I'll tell you much about the system career peer uh, change program so LinkedIn has about roughly um, 900 million people so ask yourself are you there and it's not all about the people there it's all about are you making use of it are you like if I ask you, you join LinkedIn like two years. What are some of the strategic uh, network that you have made? If you have, you have, you can't give me a specific answer. Then that means you are not making use of that app. Because if I'm telling you some of the stuff that I've come up with this app, it will really shock you. So, um, so they have exactly 1 billion interaction every month so there is a lot on on a lot of people on this app but because you know i don't know i don't know why ghana we don't promote much of linkedin yeah so let's let's look at linkedin is about building strategic relationships so as i said sometimes it's about the people that you meet you know they are focused they are focused and this really please if you are having any challenges let me know okay so the people are focused so you can see someone in networking you can see someone in hr you can see someone in robotics you know that this is what they are doing so if you want someone to even mentor you you can find that person on me okay so let's look at the statistics so um ghana here we realize that when you are talking about people population using f facebook you know facebook you see a lot of our people there youtube they are there look at linkedin only two percent if it is not up to two percent are on linkedin so this is not good because um sometimes you go to facebook and all that stuff you see what you see on facebook is totally different maybe you are using facebook to make business or something like that but linkedin you are seeing real people facebook you may have a lot of friends but you know uh, like are they providing are they adding up to your to your life most of the time no me i have facebook and yeah i'll say no so it means that we don't have a lot of Ghanaians on 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 um linkedin so we have to take a look at that 
so let's look at some benefits of LinkedIn. Uh, this slide is very <laughs> much, so maybe I'll go through them quickly so that we can maybe get some practicalities and take questions along. So, you know, when you are going to school, like, you know, that's definitely when you are done with school, you have to look for job, right? That's, that's the, let's say that's the economy that we live in. Maybe I don't believe in that theory. But you have to look for job for as, as a starter. So um, LinkedIn, you find recruiters and HR managers. That's where they are. And I don't know when I was in level three hundred. One lady thought I'm done with school, so she is uh, HR in one of the companies. So she told me to send her my CV to her. I don't know her from any anywhere, but she she reached out to me. And she told me to say, send my CV to her. I sent it. I sent it to her, and you, she realized that I'm, I'm not done with school. I'm in level three hundred. So you know, you see how we, uh, even HR can can reach out to you based on the stuff that you post on LinkedIn. So this is very very important. So you can also make important business connection. So let's see. Um, I want to work. Okay, I'm looking forward to work in a particular company. Let's say, um, let's say, you in this slide. Let's say U B A, which is a bank, Fidelity, MTN. I can come on LinkedIn and search for the CEO. So maybe I, the the CEO um, is in my connection, or I can connect with the CEO, uh, or I can find anyone. It's not always the CEO. Maybe the HR or anyone working in the company, and you can reach out to this person. And find some information about the uh, the company and how you can you know uh, craft your CV or some interview tips that you can get. So you are not maybe you have been invited for um, a, a, an interview, but you have some guidelines from the people inside the job. So you can make some important business connection on LinkedIn. And you can also join some professional groups on LinkedIn. So you know groups. Uh, just like any other group, we have focus mind like minded people, right? So, if I'm in a group on LinkedIn and they talk about books, you know that maybe I'm a book lover, so I'm always leveraging on the information that we share. So, just like WhatsApp group and other stuff. So, LinkedIn to have this section where you can join groups. So, these are some of the importance of LinkedIn connect with your dream job. So LinkedIn have a session where you can connect with your dream job. So you can connect with the company, find out. You can look for some uh, jobs available in the other company. And you can scale yourself. Sometimes you can even look at some of the software that particular company use. So maybe you are an accountant, you are IT, you are psychology, you know, so all these courses. You may do some research to find out some of the programs um, that the you check the job and you see the under the description you get to know some of the requirements of this job um, you call it the job description then maybe if you are gearing toward this school uh, this company then you you learn according to that so LinkedIn also give you help you to create a digital CV so digital CV is just like uh, since LinkedIn has a section whereby you can add your experience day in day out so maybe today i'm a teacher today i've been promoted from um, as a teacher to let's say supervisor i can add all of them there so this is a typical example social entrepreneur so this one lady very inspiring lady called and uh, regina so she was initially the uh, social entrepreneur and now the ceo of of that company Soronko Academy. So you see, this these are all the stuff that you can see. She has worked for the Velsco Ghana Ambassador. You know all these companies. So LinkedIn help you to keep track of your um, your es work experience, your skills. So it serve as your digital CV. So maybe I can go to Millicent uh, CV on Millicent CV, and I don't like. It's like I have found everything that I want, right? So I can even predict how her CV can be 
because of this feature in LinkedIn on LinkedIn that's why we are saying that LinkedIn um, helps you to create a digital seed okay so it can help you to establish your expertise by using LinkedIn content platform so me myself I post a lot on LinkedIn I post a lot of stuff on student success tech related and more like AI content right so due to this I have quite a number of people who follow me so you can also use LinkedIn as a uh, you can be a LinkedIn content creator that means you are you are much focused on that aspect okay you can also read news from your connection or followers so you can follow someone you can connect with someone by the end of this video uh, by the end of this uh, program you get to know the difference between follow and connect on LinkedIn so you can do some research about jobs so maybe you want to work in a particular company you can do research there. so you can go to LinkedIn you go to a particular company's website then you see um, some where it's located the people there they are all here about the people then you can reach out to some of them so you can do more research about the company before you even go in there and um, mind you that almost all the businesses there let's see almost all businesses let me just continue uh, or maybe after three minutes i'll come and check so you can create a brand so uh, create your personal brand so you know branding is very very important right so you yourself when we talk about millicent what comes okay so when someone talks about millicent what comes into your mind you know that robotic girl that face enthusiast you know so that's a brand when you talk about atai what comes to mind you know thief something something when you talk about kennedy japan you know it comes to politician uh, you know controversial person right so that's the, the brand that they have built for themselves so ask yourself when someone mentions your name on linkedin on um, any platform what comes into your mind so that's a brand so you have to anyone need to build a brand so when my name pops up when someone mentions my name you know this guy is is like everywhere let me see like maybe i mean like maybe you have to tell me because i I can't I can't speak for myself anyway let's move on um, right sure so um LinkedIn is very simple just like any other social media platform you just have to you know type LinkedIn.com <laughs> www.linkedin.com and um, and you have to you can create with your google email you just have to you know do this password verification you know we all know we all have facebook we all have twitter we all uh, currently x we all have instagram but linkedin is quite different and sometimes even registering from here going people people are people are discouraged to continue just have to fill the information right just fill it Okay, so they will ask for your location, your districts, and they will ask whether you are a student or not. Here yeah, is very, very important. So they, sometimes um, they will always ask the school that you are in. So in this case, University of Peoples, and make sure that the University of Peoples pops up, then you choose it. If not, you know, you, you register it and your, the school logo won't come. Maybe you may, you may be having University of Peoples, but the school logo won't come. Which is not nice. It's like you are in the school. Your school is not on LinkedIn, but you know you see, see University of Kamen Kai, you are on LinkedIn. So make us proud. Sure. So um, then they will ask you whether you are looking for a job or not, and what kind of job are you looking for. They has they have a section that you can uh, share uh, with recruiters. So most at times just share, uh, turn that on and click on done and that will be all they will bring you to the search and view jobs that match you so according to the jobs that you were looking for that you stated in the registration they will self maybe you stated that you are a software you are looking for a software engineering rule then they will search you will see a lot of software engineering rule here in the linkedin job session 
this is very very important i wish maybe we can i can use my linkedin as an example so that maybe it's, it turns more practical yes yeah, so it's about the profile picture so many people um get it i won't say wrong but you know you have to get a headshot profile picture so look at my you know look at the nice boy you know the the picture out there it's not that great but it's okay so make sure that you get a, a background so maybe i'll show you how to do it let me, let me do it quickly so maybe you have a picture so most of the time just look at this friend of mine the picture is headshot you know it's very um very professional you know there is no other background um pictures and other stuff you see all these people almost all of them went through the program um the career program right so it's like they all know how to use it well right so you see look at this guy too so let me show you maybe you have a picture you want to you know make it nice let me just take the just show you so let's say i have a picture right so the picture most of the time the pictures that we have it's more like um the background is not nice you know you took the picture and the background is full of um full of trees and other stuff so let me take one of uh, tech for everyone our executive for example right so let me use her picture i know she will see me anyway but i will use it okay so if you have picture like that what you have to do is that we have a website called remove bg so you are not a graphic designer you don't have any skill to remove the part the background of the picture but this website gets gets you so you just have to type remove.bg search for the website and this website will save you so all you need to do is to remove the picture so let's say i want to upload the picture i want a nice you know looking uh background like mine maybe you want it okay let me use the lady that i was talking about so let's see what it can do for us so quickly you can see that within a minute you have a removed background in this case maybe you want to add a particular background that will fit what you want just choose any color right so in this case you can choose any color that you want let me choose i want some combination so you let me just choose white and i can download it there you go we have a picture without any distraction at the background right so that's it write the website down i'll copy the link and paste it in the our chat session for you to um, let me do it now before i forget so the website is remote beating and we can continue our slide so this is how you can get somehow a professional picture but make sure you don't take selfie you know let it be professional headshots right selfies and you know someone can take a, a picture with a friend and you have posted it so you the the linkedin account does it belong to your friend or yourself you are you have to answer that oh so oh, so many people want to join this okay so um now you have you have created an account let's see what's next so let's see how you can manage um managing and setting your linkedin profile which is very very important people just create it <laughs> they just create the um the accounts and i'll be like i'm done no you have a lot to do right and it's worth it it's worth it because linkedin if you are serious there like if people will take you serious right and be vis be vision driven don't just be there because you are like they are saying that it's good and you are there what what do you want to do in life if you define that which people are in this area that I want to go definitely you see them if you don't see them go search for them you get people with them you know so many people top there you know the top ceos the lecturers they are always willing to help 
let's say when you take 90 percent 100 percent of them like 80 percent of them is not going to ignore you so be serious approach them and linkedin is a good platform to approach them and they will help you okay so i have showed you how you can uh, you can do this but uh, as i said take a headshot so don't take a full picture please we are not going to you know show body especially the ladies you know those those with okay so we are not going to show body there and make sure that your picture is recent you know a recent picture uh and smile and look into the camera so these are all some some of the things that you have to take into consideration when you are taking your LinkedIn profile picture no sunglasses hats and anything just be yourself don't use selfie i said I, I think i said this and linkedin is saying that linkedin profile with professional shots gets 15 times more views so this means that people with professional linkedin uh, picture people are likely to you know view their profile which is a plus for you and one thing that <laughs> i i told them not to do is that don't don't just upload it and say i don't have a headshot picture so then i won't upload any picture that one is is not good like it's better that you have a picture that's not okay than you don't have a picture at all because maybe i want to search for you and your name is nyamiche i search and you have 19 nyamiche appearing you know those common common name you know you have you may have your fake cameric but my face will show you that oh this is the real cameric that I'm, I'm looking for okay so um let's also look at something so let's look at something so most people like nine let me say let's say 60 percent of linkedin users don't have a, a a banner and let me tell you banner everyone can create a banner you don't have to be a graphic designer you know now we have a lot of you know this ai this website that is making the work very easy as i showed you the remove pg you just remove your background for you without any graphic design work so let me show you how you can create a linkedin banner without any work without any graphic design knowledge you know oh so many people are waiting let me admit them wow 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 i'm 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 surprised i'm surprised so let's let me show you how so we have a website called canva so canva with i always say that with canva everyone is a graphic designer <laughs> with canva everyone we don't have like you know because we are all designing so with canva it's not only linkedin um but you can use it for pretty much everything powerpoint presentation you just have to go you know those who don't like to work um it's not like working the difference between working hard and working smart so those of us who like working smart <laughs> you just come here then maybe you want a particular ppt then you just search on that topic they'll give you a template for you to just put in your words there and yeah off you go so in this case we are not looking for ppt we are looking for linkedin banner so just just go in type anything that you want so in this case we even have linkedin cover underground uh background picture in this case we want linkedin but so let's check uh canva has a premium version but in this case you know we we, we have nothing you know nothing we get so we want the free version you know students students you know we don't have anything so we can't pay for the premium yes too there's there's something for us right so let's see maybe you want to um let's say let's say so maybe you want this one so this one so how can you see the premium one from the uh, the one that's not premium the premium one is the one with the pro here pro pro that means they are all premium you have to pay before you get it. yes so you know you can get something nice like this without a pro that you can customize it to make it your own in, t in this case let's see how i don't like when i'm i'm talking too much <laughs> i would like to hear from you so that maybe i can we can proceed in this this time you can unmute yourself and talk how is the program are you learning something okay so i can get some thumbs up okay 
keep coming the thumbs up should come keep coming yeah yeah thank you thank you i hope it's it it really helps you to you know okay so let's let's move on so in this case maybe you want to um you want to maybe you want to do some banner like nice linkedin banner like this but you see so there's someone's picture oh then in this case all you have to do is let's say i want to do it my i want to make it my own as i said we the lazy people sorry to say we don't want to you know you don't want to hire any uh, graphic designer to work for us so we just come here delete everything and put in our own uh, in this case let me say linkedin coach right so ah so you have a cameric and we can see a little no i should come up with my own picture so in this case what you have to do is you put the picture so you see the other time also i was training some students and this is the picture that we use this is the picture that i use for the very fun anyway but this time around i will use so you know i've been using it to do a lot of projects you know graphic design projects uh, flyers and other stuff but in this case maybe you are the first this is your first time so you want to upload a picture from your uh, so uh, i wish we can use the ladies one but i have some pictures of my own here so let me just go and choose one of them okay so let me choose this one let me upload it here so you know i just have to upload the picture that i have maybe the picture that you worked on then you can just drag and drop oh my god this is very nice no work just very easy stuff but this in this uh, i want to make maybe the the background just like maybe my my attire and change the color to let's see white to make it very more visual mm, not bad not bad all right so maybe i can proceed with this so I, all i need to do is to just download it because i choose the um because i choose the what do you call it? because i choose the prim, uh, the one without a premium so i can download it freely but sometimes when you choose most of the time it's not most of the time when you choose the premium one you have to you have to pay before so you know in this case we don't want to pay because we are students so let's see this downloading oh my god we have it on our computer wow that's amazing so now you have it you can upload it there simply now you can create i hope you can create okay so let me let me try to show you how so i know you can uh, upload it yourself so in this case um, so those who are viewing my accounts you can you can connect with me or follow me right i share a lot of you know opportunity stuff so you can you can just look at my name and search and connect so let's say maybe i want to change this uh, sdg something and put the one that we just edited i have to just change it here then i will take this one there so you can see it faced so but i'm not ready to change my picture so you know it fits in so uh linkedin uh, canva has given me something that fits in so what i have to do is just apply but in this case i don't so let's move on you know okay so now we can do our own linkedin banner let's move on so some uh, we also use this um uh, someone this what someone did right okay so let's look at this this is very very important but before we continue since i want it to be very interactive now can you cre create your own linkedin um can you create your own linkedin banner i want to see some i wanted i i, I have so many people to admit wow okay so can you create your own linkedin banner and uh, i'll record this session too so those who are not able to maybe get it from the beginning maybe I'll, I'll send you the link or i'll post it on tech for everyone youtube channel so that maybe you can also benefit from it 
okay so so okay maybe you don't want to talk let's just proceed so the headshot the headline is very very important you know someone may be like oh eric how were you able to you know add all these you know ceo of tech for everyone me my own i can see students at university of Cape Coast. <laughs> so someone may ask isn't putting students at university of Cape Coast? isn't it okay no it's not okay so are you the only one schooling at university of Cape Coast? no so put something that you do put something that you are passionate about maybe you are a public speaker you are author you are you know music enthusiasts put them there so in my own you can see i'm the ceo of t for e so t for e simply means tech for everyone i'm also yes of course i'm a proud african and entrepreneur so you can see all of them i added them personally right i added them i intentionally added them and on your laptop or even on your phone how you can edit it which is very very crucial please edit them and put something there maybe you're a volunteer you are uh, maybe you are advocating for something maybe health advocates uh, just put them there so in this case let's say we uh, maybe you want to change i want to change your mind so that you get to know what i'm trying to say so you can you see the headline here so if yours is still having university of a particular university just change it i hope i'm, I'm light i'm loud and clear let's proceed okay so there is also a summary section which you have to fill in this case you can see my summary section right here so you can see it talks much about what i do so something brief about your summary so in this case um i don't read it out because it's quite long but you can see and if you don't have that please it doesn't take maybe i'm not saying that do it right now because maybe you have to crash some some stuff down and you can use chat gp to, to help you most of the times this is what i do you know i write my own english with all the mistake in there and i just check i just so it is the trick that i use maybe you can also benefit from that then i'll i'll copy it and give it to chats so i think i use pool mostly because pool is using api from chat so um api simply means uh, i don't want to confuse anyone <laughs> without it background but it means it's it's using something provided by the same open ai chat gpt so it works that just like open ai chat gpt but this is more customized so you can see i made a post recently on my, my linkedin account and this what sometimes i type it myself so this is what i type so i think let me let me go to the raw one that i type most of the time so that maybe some people will be wondering oh how can i type good english something something when you type it just paste it in there so maybe this won't be necessarily um a linkedin something but it will help you in whatever you are doing right so let me oh, uh -huh. so look at something like this i type them and maybe i may have some mistakes in there but immediately when i i so i even say that so this is what i said rewrite this and add emojis so that it will be more nice you know when you are reading a linkedin um linkedin let me say a message or a post and it has images like this you see it's more interactive and more nice so i did, i just give it to chats and chats you know did it for me but this is good because i am feeding it with the information so it will elaborate on it hope it's helpful so pull to you can just poe you can also leverage it and you can use it to uh, it will help you posting content on linkedin i think this is more like a master class oh people are waiting for to be admitted oh wow wow, wow. 40 people joining I'm grateful to have a lot of people learning from me the little that I know okay so let's move on so the summary should be your skills your talents and your expertise in a little 
in detail so it should be something about what your skills and it should be who you are so who you are what are you passionate about um, a paragraph with great uh, greatness strengths or greatness accomplishment so maybe you have achieved something good something great some you know some things are was you know the brela you know some things are all and that you can add all of them here and you can share your skills and expertise and some call to action so call to action is more like how and yes so let me okay so as, as i was saying um they just switch off a light my laptop is strong enough but i'm just hoping everything will go um on um yeah okay so as i said uh about the about section so in this case um if you really want to add more stuff to your linkedin maybe someone may be like eric i can't find much of the what you are saying i can't find them always let's add profile section be your add profile section be your uh, guide right so add profile section just click on it and all you need to know so it's about if you want to add education uh, position career break skills so we have core so core is like what you 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 need so in economics you have want and need so need is something that you need you need water to survive you need food to survive but you want car to drive so if you didn't get car you will live all right but you want so the core is like you you need it so you have to do it like you have to add your skills your you know they are needed but rec recommended will be like want so if you want to add a fe feature you want to add some certificates some project that you have worked on you want to add some courses some recommendation yeah so maybe uh yeah let's try to wrap up because i'm hoping because uh, the facility i'm in there's a lot of so they are assuming that everyone is getting out but i'm here having section so let's let's wrap it up <laughs> yes so um we also have a linkedin dashboard so on a linkedin dashboard you get to see people who have viewed your profile Right, people who have viewed your profile. So in this dashboard, you can see who viewed your profile, view post views, and some search appearance. Just give me a minute. Let me check. First off, so as I said, if you want to reach out to me um, on LinkedIn, you can send me a text. Um, yeah, I would I'll like to help you if you we couldn't um, we couldn't get anything everything today. Okay, so the dashboard tells you what's happening on your page, and this is private to you. So, how many people are watching your profile every day? So, me for instance, to, uh, like people have been watching my profile. I'm having seven hundred and seventy one. So these are the people watching my profile, and the thousand three hundred and 38 is my post impression so my post that is reaching out to people and lastly the search appearance like um how many people are searching for me it's not so it's like it calculated within one one eight eight is it? 28 days so it's not one day something okay sure so let's also move on and this is very very important how to add your work experience so as i said you have to add your work experience so um, yes so that's where I said whenever you are fi facing any problem just go to the just go to the add section then you can have position so the work experience just like the position you can add your position so maybe today you are a student tomorrow you are an intern somewhere add them add them add all of them Okay, so you can find them always navigate to the add to profile section and you get what you want. Almost all, all of them. Okay, so um, in the when you are adding it, you have to you have to list some uh, accomplishments 
at the job. So maybe you have worked there two months or like you have been working there. What are you doing there? Are you just a brand, uh, let's say branch manager? Branch manager, what do you do there? They have section where you can add all this information there. So let's say I'm tech for everyone. Like, okay, so in my section, this case, um, I was um, an event producer at Tedes University of Pecos. And these are some of the stuff that I was doing. Um, career, um, I'm junior data science facilitator at DigiCap. And these are some of the stuff that I, I was doing or I'm doing right now because I'm still there. Right, so add it to it, and they are all found when you reach. You want to add your profile, make sure you add all of them to it. So, add position, you can see they are there. Um, yeah, so that's where you add description, add what you want to add. Maybe you are doing this, you are doing that. Tell them the specific job that you are doing. So, in this case, I'm not going to add any position, so that's all for the position and let me see whether some people are trying to join so that i won't leave them there yeah some people someone want to join john sorry still we have to need two people wow after all this break guys thank you thank you for waiting for to learn all right so maybe you want to add more skills so for me, mine, for instance, I'm, I want to make it more practical so that I'll be like, I'm not just doing it for doing sick. So if you want to add more skills, you have so you have to come to the add to profile section. Add to profile section, you can see add skills. Add some skills, maybe, you know, you are doing some organization skills, you are a very good communicator, you can manage social media account. Add all of them, right? Add all of them. When you click on that particular aspect, they will ask you what, spe uh, so, what particular field so these are some of my experience so far so maybe during my uh, uh, my tenure as co-organizer at TEDx University of Kiku, that's where I learned these skills then I'll choose the oh here here or uh, only this place that I learn it so it works for all the other skills okay so let me just discuss it and lastly let me come back to the slide so that's it for the skills so let's move on so recommendation so if i come to my profile i can let someone recommend me on linkedin so if you like look at my profile i have gotten a lot of recommendation from people that i've worked with so you can see from here so this let me show you i've gotten about like 17 yeah almost 20 recommendations some are from the u.s i've worked um especially collaborating with people so i have worked with this lady um i've worked with um Gosui. so let me show you how you can you can recommend them so you just have to come to the recommendation section, add to section so ask for recommendations so in this case maybe i want millicent i want millicent to recommend me right so me listen i'm hoping i'm not wrong okay millicent adra okay so this millicent she is here so i want her to recommend me so they will ask that how did you get in contact with millicent maybe millicent manage me directly millicent is my manager i millicent report directly to me which is you Millicent was my senior, you know, just see what fits. So maybe Millicent, we are students together, right? And I want Millicent to manage me. In this case, they are asking me where, where. So maybe as my career, as a career peer coach, that's where Millicent, um, that's where I got in contact with Millicent. And they'll give me some template that, hi Millicent Adwa, would you like to recommend me, please? Then I have to send. So immediately, Millicent will get a message that Eric wants to recommend me. They will give Millicent a link and Millicent can recommend me. And immediately, Millicent recommend me. I can add it to my profile like you can see here. So you see this guy recommending me. Eric is a very good person and also uh, someone willing to help others. He's very good in I tech and I recommend it for anyone. So all these people are speaking good of me. 
I don't know whether they are they are they are lying or they are saying the truth. <laughs> okay, so these are this the received one, and this is what I've given to people as well. So I've also given recommendation to people. So it's not always you want to receive from people, you can also give recommendation. So that's for the recommendation aspect. Let's try to wrap up. So I have few slides to go. So this is very, very important. You know, most of the time, I can say that almost like 60%, so many people, they haven't edited their LinkedIn, um, LinkedIn uh, URL. So let's say someone, someone want to, someone want to maybe Eric, when you're applying for a job, they will ask for your LinkedIn, um, LinkedIn profile link. The link is very, very important because you embed it in your, your, uh, your CV and when someone asks, sometimes you are filling an application, they will ask for your LinkedIn link. Let me show you how you can get, uh, you can minimize it. So you can see mine. Let me click on my profile. And you can see mine is very, very simple. But by this one, it can be done only on your uh, desktop. The phone, like you can't find it. So maybe this one, you have to do it on your desktop. You can see like I have just your fit, Eric. But most of the time you can find most of you you only can find some random numbers. We make it very very tedious or something like that. So in this uh, slide, on this slide, we can see that uh, the the Namiche one. You can see that this plenty numbers. You can edit it. And how can you edit? It? Let me take some one minute to show you how you can edit it on your um, on your on your as I said. Um, where can I? Uh, on your desktop, right? So you can see profile, public profile link, profile or URL. So this is what when someone asks you that, Eric, please send me your your. I want to link. I want. Let's see, maybe some of you want to follow me right now. What can I do? I can just copy this, and it's very very simple. Uh, so this is it so let me show you so if you want to edit it most of the time you can see there's plenty number here so let me see let me search for so that you get what i'm saying i don't want to make it more like um so let's let me search millicent i want to see, i want to see whether millicent have done this millicent, sorry for using you today please eh? let me worry some more okay so millicent adra so you want to check whether Millicent has edited hers or not. So you see, aha, uh -huh, good. Millicent have not edited hers. So you can see that we have a lot of numbers here. And if someone asks Millicent to send her profile, uh, LinkedIn profile, that this is what she's going to send, right? Which will be, I'm going to paste it in the link so that you can follow Millicent for me. Yeah, she's doing a great job. So maybe I want to share Millicent profile with you. Oh, someone is waiting. Sorry. So I'm sharing with Millicent. I'm sharing sharing Millicent profile link with you. Here on your desktop, you see that pencil icon. Then you edit it like I have done to mine. So in this case, you have some multiple numbers there. You just have to remove all of them. Sometimes you because maybe you have your favorite and someone to also have your favorite. In this case, I'm the original referee, so you have to add some numbers to your own or some, some maybe letters to your own to make it unique. Just like when you are creating user um, username on all other platform. So maybe you may add maybe maybe you are also referee. You type referee, it'll be like this one is sticking. So in this case, I'm not saying you shouldn't add numbers, but make it unique. I hope you get my points. Yes, I hope it's clear. Let's move on. So that's how you can change your LinkedIn. Uh, URL. So this is not all that essential. Okay, so when you design your your flyer and um, it's attracts recruiters. So I initially I told you that so many I think about two recruiters have reached out to me on LinkedIn, and it's because how I brand myself on LinkedIn has really helped me. And and they have a section that you see that open to. So they have a section finding a new job. So you can choose finding a new job. That one be the the uh, 
they will have some green something being uh, op work uh, open at work and uh, if you are uh, an entrepreneur myself and you want to employ employ someone you can choose hiring that means you are hiring right okay so let's wrap up so let me give you quick um, difference between the connections right so we have first degree connection so let me read do a little bit of reading people you are directly connected to because you you have accepted their invitation to connect so let's see if you see that some people are my first degree connection so you can see first degree what does it mean it means that it's either Millicent sends me a connection now from now maybe I'll show you how to send someone a connection but I know most of you know and I accepted her connection now we become a first degree connection or I sent Millicent a, a, a connection and she accepted my invitation now we become first degree connection that means I can chat with Millicent directly let me just hi Millicent <laughs> today Millicent are all you right hi Millicent because we are uh, she is my first degree connection right you can see james here a very good friend of mine james is also my first degree connection that means james i can also um message james directly right let's look at second degree connection second degree connection are my first degree connection friends that they are not directly connected to me so james friends that they are not connect directly to me is my second degree connection why because i know james and james is my third degree connection and james friends are my second degree connection i don't know whether i get it but i want to make it as simple as that so let me try to see someone who is my second degree connection and let's see okay so this So, um, can see this person is my second degree connection. That means I have some friends who are these ladies friends who are my first degree connection, but I'm not connected to this lady directly. Therefore, this lady, Juliana, become my second degree connection. Oh, I think. So. Sure. So then Juliana became a second degree connection. Third degree connection that I don't have any connection with her at all. Right? So it's like me name baby will be anywhere. My name for phone will be answer name. So that person became my third degree connection. I hope you get it. If not, we can talk about that later. So let's talk about followers on LinkedIn. Followers are people that you can just follow them. So it's like when you follow them, you can't chat with them directly. But yes, so whatever they post, you get to see. So someone like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, if they are there on LinkedIn, I think Bill Gates is on LinkedIn. Uh, these big, big people, those who are on LinkedIn, Elon Musk is much a trader fan or ex fan. But Bill Gates is on LinkedIn. You can't connect with Bill Gates directly. So they have even done some settings. When you try to connect with them, they will tell you to mention their email before. So that one, you just have to follow them. And when they post something, maybe you, you like them, you like their message, you follow them. When they post something, then okay, sure. So um let's wrap it up. So that's the follow. Congratulations, you have created a great standout profile. Now let's get into the job. So jobs on LinkedIn. This I'll wrap it up job portal you can just go there and search for job um so you can also filter they have some customized filter if you want an internship you want a uh, entry level roles you want a particular company you want a particular date that you can apply for the that the job the job was posted you can find all of them there lastly let's look at the groups on linkedin i hope i told you about this initially there are so many groups on LinkedIn, so it's filled with like-minded people. So a group 
talking about project management, that means if you're interested in project management, join that group. A group talking about data scientists, join that group. A group talking about uh, robotics, and you're interested in that program, join that group. That's all the group is saying. Okay, so that's the group. So pages on LinkedIn, maybe you're a company, you want to create a page on LinkedIn. Just like Tech for Everyone or any other company, I think Nets, um, Nesby is also having a LinkedIn page. You can just go and create a LinkedIn page. And let me take you through how you can do that. That one, so you can do it on your... Oh, so I wasn't sharing my screen. And no one talked, really. <laughs> okay. So you are just... Hello? Hello? Am I audible? Yes. You know, yes, I've please. been talking for like like 20 minutes and no one even say, said something. Because I thought I'm, I'm sharing my screen and my, my audio is on. So I'm almost, almost done. Anyway, I... I can hear you. You you heard me. Okay, because I, I just saw my audio was off. But yes, so this video is recorded, so maybe you can reach out to me. Let me let me put my number in there. You can reach out to me, I'll share the link with you so that I get the value. Because sometimes when I'm making sections like this, I just record them so that if something happened, you just have it. I don't like repetition of work. So I have my number there. You can WhatsApp me. When I upload it, I'll send it to you. I'll send the link for you to uh, to to have the same value. So let me wrap up. I was saying LinkedIn page. How you can create a LinkedIn page? A page is more like when you want to create a business, create it for your business. You see, create a LinkedIn page. You can create some for yourself, some for your organization. Being um being. I think someone's audio is uh, on.